Greetings, Internet! I am Ken from the Computer Clan, here today with an updated and more advanced tutorial on creating music visualizers in After Effects. So a music visualizer is some type of animation that flows with the music you match it to. You've probably seen this inside of other people's videos or maybe inside of certain software like iTunes. So here's how you can make some of your own inside of Adobe After Effects. So I have a new project here, it's completely blank. Command N or Control N on the PC to open up a new composition here. And in the composition settings, you can set any of these things to whatever you want, but make sure your duration is the length of the song you want to make the visualization animation to, just so there's no extra frames and make sure it doesn't fall short. I'm just going to stay in 720p HD and a 2997 frame rate. That will be good for our digital video setup here. So. I'll hit OK and the canvas opens up here. So now I'm going to import the music, Command I or Control I on the PC, and select the music file you want to import and hit open. As you can see, it's now over here in the project tab. So now let's switch to the timeline. And if you go to the layer menu under new, you will see solid or Command Y on the Mac. When you click that, we can add in a solid black. You can name it visualizer, let's just say. This is where the effect is going to be based on. So we'll add the solid, hit OK. Now we have the visualizer solid black color selected in the timeline. Keep it selected. While it's selected, go to the effect menu, go to generate, and then go to audio spectrum. Make sure it's not waveform. You can do stuff with that, but spectrum is what we want for this demonstration. So now the default spectrum shows up. Go back to the project tab and now place your music file into the timeline. So we'll drag this down, put it on its own layer, and just line it up like so. So our green bar in this demonstration represents the music, the red represents the solid with the audio spectrum effect applied. With the visualizer layer selected, go back to the effect controls tab up here, and this is where we can adjust all of our appearance settings and match it to music. So if we scrub, as you will see, nothing happens yet because the visualizer has no audio to go off of. Under this parameter that says audio layer, make sure that it is linked to your music file name. Once you click it, you will see it's going to start animating automatically. So if we play this back with the RAM preview, which is all controlled up in this panel here, you'll be able to see the animation and hear the audio. If you want to hear the audio, make sure your project isn't muted here. So as you can see, it's playing, but the animation isn't very exciting. So let's do some tweaks. You can change the thickness of the lines, so I can make them really thick or really thin. I can also add in more frequency bands. And I can also adjust the height. So like this is the maximum height the lines can go to. So now we can get some more contrast here between the tall parts and the short parts of the spectrum line effects. I can also change colors, so the inside color of these lines, for example, can be like a white, maybe? And the outside could be like a cyan. This is all up to you. This is the optional stuff. I just want to take you through a couple more. The start and end points determine where this line basically is placed, and you can angle it as well. The side options will cut this effect in half basically. Let's say you just want A, you just get the top. If you just want B, you get the bottom. If you choose side A and B, then you get everything. So now if we go back to the beginning and hit play, let's see what we have. As you can see, the effect looks a little more engaging. It is a lot more exciting than last time. So take some time and just practice with all of these different parameters that you can experiment with. One of the most common questions I get is, Ken, how can I change the shape of the visualizer? Well, as we discussed, you can angle it and adjust the positioning using the start and end point parameters. However, we can go deeper than that. So, let's say we want to make a circle visualizer. Up here we have our rectangle tool, but if you click and hold on it, you can get different shapes. For this demonstration, we'll use an ellipse. So with the ellipse selected, place the crosshair in the middle of the effect, and then on the Mac, click and hold, and then hold down Command and Shift. This will let you scale the ellipse proportionally from the center of the screen. So I'm going to make the ellipse 
nice and centered right here. That size looks good. So now, in essence, we're creating a mask. The effect is now inside of that mask. And you can do fun stuff with this if you want. But we want to actually make the visualizer go around in a circle. So next, we go back to our effect controls for the visualizer, go to the path option, and choose mask 1. The effect will now work its way around this circle here. So as you can see, the effect is kind of getting cut off. It's because we're having a square as like a border here, cutting off parts of this. So under this menu here that says add, change it to none, then no cropping will take place. Now we have the visualizer going around in a circle. Some of the lines are going off the screen in some areas, so I'm just gonna bring the maximum height down, and I think I just want the effect to be on the outside. So I'll just choose side B for this demonstration, and we're still getting some going off the edge there. So I'm gonna bring my maximum height down a little more maybe. And I might turn up the thickness just a little bit and experiment with that. Maybe tweak it some more. Maybe I'm okay with it going off the edge. Maybe I'll crank that height up and then get a really wacky effect here. So now we have the visualizer just going around this circle like this. So we'll play that back. So as you can see, we now have this desired effect. And feel free to experiment with the paths. You can make some really funkadelic shapes here with these anchor points, and you can adjust them and just create some very wacky visualizers. The effect will automatically readjust itself to fit your desired path. So let's say all of the effect work is now done. If you want to export this as a video, follow these few steps. Go to File, Export, and Add to Render Queue. Under the Output module, you can customize a bunch of different settings, but make sure your audio settings are turned on so you don't lose your audio. In addition, if you want to composite this effect over some other video footage, it's sometimes easier just to have the black background automatically removed. To do this, simply set the channels from RGB to RGB alpha. This will render the video with 32-bit color space. That means you can have transparency. When you are ready, hit OK. The output to area here is where the file will be saved. So you can click on the name and adjust it. I will call it Visualizer Demo and have it set to my desktop. Then I'll hit save. Once all of your settings are in place, the render queue shows you all the information here. And then click render. When you hit render, the whole thing will process itself and save itself as a movie to your designated location. Since this is just a demo, I'm going to stop it here, but I can still go to the desktop and open up my movie. So then I can watch this movie if I want, or I can use it in a variety of different editing programs such as Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. And also, just on a side note, it's always important just to save your files just in case something goes wrong. So always just go to File, Save, Command-S, Control-S on the PC, and just have your stuff saved and ready to go. So that's about it for this slightly more advanced tutorial on creating visualizers for music inside of Adobe After Effects. If you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments or on Twitter or on any other social network associated with the Computer Clan. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Would you like to check out our comedy series? If so, you can watch the season finale right here. Or perhaps you'd like to watch our Daishokan cosplay music video. If so, you can click right here.